Good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. Let's track the tropics. Of course, we are now into the month of September. And yes, this is the time of the year where things can heat up in the tropics pretty quickly. We've already had five named systems out there in the Atlantic Basin. Alberto, Beryl, Chris, Debbie and Ernesto. However, it's been a few weeks since we've had a named storm. The next couple of names on the list would be Francine and Gordon. Of course, Alberto and Chris were tropical storms and Beryl, Debbie and Ernesto were hurricanes. So we've had some action this season, but we've kind of had a lull in the action for the last couple of weeks. In fact, let's talk about this lull, which is kind of unprecedented. We have not had a named storm in the Atlantic form since Ernesto, and that was all the way back on August 12th. So the last time there were no named storms from August 13th to September 3rd, which is today, was all the way back in 1968. So it has been a very long time since the Atlantic Basin has been this quiet. So we're thinking things will probably start to heat up pretty quickly during the month of September. In fact, we're already monitoring not one, not two, but three tropical waves with a chance for development into a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane. Here is the first tropical wave that we're monitoring. This one is in the Central Caribbean right now, bringing some showers and storms to parts of Hispaniola. But look at that track. It is forecast to push right over the Yucatan Peninsula and then into the southern Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to have to watch that one closely. The next tropical wave that we're monitoring in the central Atlantic, that one with only a low 10% chance for development. And then there's another one in the far east Atlantic with a low 30% chance for development. But this is the one that we are most concerned about at this time. This is the tropical wave in the Central Caribbean. You can see the big burst of convection, the showers and storms impacting parts of Hispaniola, even getting some showers over into portions of Jamaica. And eventually this rainfall will spread into parts of Cuba. So for the next 48 hours, a near 0% chance for development into a tropical cyclone. But over the next seven days, there is a 30% chance that this could be our next tropical storm or hurricane. The next name would be Francine. So we've got to monitor this closely. Models are indicating that as this pushes into the Western Caribbean, there may be a slightly higher chance that it could turn into a tropical system. It is forecast to roll over the Yucatan Peninsula late this week into the weekend and then kind of park itself in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico this weekend into early next week. Now there are some good things happening. We actually have a cold front that will be dropping into southeast Texas and that will act to push a lot of this moisture to the south and east and away from us. So if there's a tropical system in the southern Gulf, that front would also block that tropical system from heading in our direction. So that would be great news. Let's see what our future cast model shows. Well, it shows a system basically fairly disorganized over the next few days and then trying to get a little bit better organized into the Western Caribbean by 7 a.m. Saturday morning. You can see this area of showers and storms here is trying to get its act together just before it crosses over the Yucatan Peninsula. Then as we go into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you'll notice kind of a disorganized system showing up in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. A lot of rain will be pushing into parts of Mexico and maybe brushing southern parts of Texas. But notice that for now, at least through Monday, all of that heavy rain associated with what could be our next tropical system remains to the south of the Houston area. That's due to the fact that we've got that front, that cold front that will bring us lower humidity and some slightly cooler temps, but it will also act to kind of squash all of this moisture and keep it to our south. And if we do have a tropical system in the southwestern Gulf, that should stay to the south as well. Let's talk about the rest of this month. We're into the beginning of September, and this is usually the month where if we're going to get a lot of action in the tropics, 
month. This is usually the month that it happens. This is our highest probability of several named storms or tropical systems popping up. Notice the area with the highest shot for that happening. That's going to be right around the Western Atlantic, the Central Atlantic, a decent chance, and even in the Gulf of Mexico, an above average shot for a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane. Now for much of the month of August, we had a ton of Saharan dust covering a big chunk of the Atlantic, kind of hindering these tropical systems from developing. That dust kind of rolls off of the west coast of Africa and pushes all the way across the Atlantic and even starts to cover parts of the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico at times. So that dust over the last week, really has started to kind of thin out and become less dense, less thick. So we're not expecting much dust in the air over the waters over the next few weeks. So that will be less of a hindrance and that means we could have more of these tropical systems trying to get going. We've also still got very warm waters out there in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean and also in the Atlantic. We've had super warm water out there the entire hurricane season and that is set to continue. Temps well into the 80s and even into the 90s in some spots. In fact, we can look out towards the Atlantic. Notice right off of the coast of Florida, a sea surface temp there, buoy showing 90 degrees. So of course, if any tropical system rolls into that water, it can quickly blow up and become something concerning. So we definitely have the warm water. We've got less dust out there, but we're still not seeing any really powerful systems. That's actually a good thing. But here's what we're concerned about. We are getting very close to the peak of hurricane season, which is right around September 10th. So the peak of hurricane season about a week away. So things could get busy in a hurry. Of course, we'll continue to track those three tropical waves and we've got to get through about three more months of hurricane season before we can say all clear, at least for this year. So keep it here. Of course, we'll keep updating you day by day.